Hey guys, welcome back to another great game of CDH. Starting us off today is Noah on Kenrith, the Return King. This mid-range list just wants to outvalue other decks. Relying on any combo you want, whether it be Thassa's Oracle, Dockside Mayhem Loops, or Underworld Breach, this deck always has something to do. His opening hand was a Flooded Strand, Mox Diamond, Lotus Petal, Enlightened Tutor, Abrupt Decay, Simeon Spirit Guide, and a Windfall. Next up is Griffin on Obnixilis. The King of Ping is back. Fetch lands, Mana Vaults, Bowmasters, there's a lot of ping running around. And this man is set to capitalize with both card advantage and a massive body that can just take your opponents out. His opening hand at a Command Tower, Marsh Flats, Snow Covered Mountain, Mox Diamond, Soul Ring, and a Dothy Voidwalker. Bottoming a Desperate Ritual. In the third spot, we have Hidden on Shorakai, Genesis Engine. This is a Humility Control deck, looking to use Artifact Synergy along with Shorakai to be able to draw a bunch of cards, Wrath the Board a bunch, and ultimately win with Dramatic Scepter. His opening hand was a Gemstone Caverns, Atticar Waste, Mana Vault, Mental Misstep, an offer you can't refuse, and a Savine's Reclamation. Bottoming an Isochron Scepter. And bringing up the rear is Mike on Malcolm Bruce. Jeskai Pirates is another speedy deck with a multitude of combos, whether it be Underworld Breach, Toolcaster Twin Flame, or the ever popular Glinthorn. His opening hand had a Command Tower, Bloodstained Mire, Ragavan, Swan Song, Mental Misplay, Curiosity, and a Shatter Skull Smashing. All right, block there, kill that. Oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Hidden has a pregame action as he puts a Gemstone Caverns into play, exiling a Savine's Reclamation. Noah starts off the game with a Flooded Strand. He then casts a Lotus Petal and passes. Griffin has a Command Tower into a Mox Diamond. He discards a Snow Covered Mountain and taps out for a Dothy Voidwalker. With Noah cracking his fetch in response to grab out a Tundra. Shortcutting as he casts an Enlightened Tutor. He finds a Mystic Remora to put on top, with Griffin ending his turn there. Hidden has a Flooded Strand, cracking his fetch for a Tundra as well. The land will be exiled, with Hidden casting a Mana Vault to save on time for shuffling. Mike cracks a Bloodstained Mire for a Volcanic Island, ending his turn with a Turn 1 Monkey. Noah starts off his turn with his Tutored Fish. Remarking if it gets countered, Griffin will just get it instead. Imagine Simeon Spirit Guide Red Elemental Blast to play it myself. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I mean, that, that's a play, man. That's a play. Griffin cracks a Marsh Flats on his turn. He grabs a Badlands and taps the land to cast the Soul Ring. He gives a card to Noah, but now has enough mana for Obnixilis. Hidden plays an Atticar Waste's land for turn and casts his Commander Shorakai. He will give a card to Noah and with his Floating Colorless taps to activate Shorakai. He'll loot and get a pilot, with him discarding a Snow Covered Island. Mike has a Command Tower and heads straight to combat. He sends the Monkey at Noah who exiles the Spellseeker off the top. Mike will get his treasure but cracks it to cast the Exiled Spellseeker. Mike's not sure what to grab and ends up picking a Fluster Storm. Noah untaps and pays for fish. He has a Mox Diamond and discards a Windswept Heath. Next up is a Carpet of Flowers, with Noah then heading to his second main to activate the carpet for white. Then along with his Lotus Petal and an Exiled Spirit Guide, he casts a Ranger Captain of Eos, who nabs him a Deathrite Shaman off ETB. Griffin has a Mount Doom as land and for three casts a Wheel of Fortune. Noah draws off the fish, but it's Hidden who has a response. He's worried about feeding the Dothy and responds by tapping his land for blue, unfortunately taking one in the process. Ob triggers, but responding to the trigger, Hidden Swan Songs the wheel. Noah will draw off the wheel getting countered, with Griffin getting his bird, and exiling a Prosper off the top with Ob. Hidden untaps and takes one from his mana vault. 
Ob triggers, and exiles a Grape Shot. Hit and then activate Short Guy to draw two, discard one, and make another pilot. He discards a Mental Mistup and has a City of Brass's land. Hit and then cast a Mana Crypt and gives a card to Noah, but ends his turn there. Mike plays a right on time Gemstone Cavern, and for three casts his Commander Malcolm, ending his turn there as the monkey doesn't have a free attack anywhere. Noah continues to pay for his fish. He'll make a green off his carpet and uses it to cast a Deathrite Shaman, following all that up with an Ancient Doom as land for turn. Griffin is really debating going off with that grape shot, but worries that he would just feed a bunch of cards to Noah, and to the table's surprise, actually just ships the turn there. Hidden untaps, pays to untap the vault, and is safe from his crypt. He decides to just hold up a bit of mana as he passes there. Mike has a flooded strand as land for turn, and then heads to combat. He sends Malcolm at Noah, who takes a two, with Mike making a treasure. Noah pays three for his fish, and makes a blue off his carpet, although he ends up not using it as Griffin on his end step activates Mount Doom to ping everyone for one, triggering Ob to exile a Prismatic Vista. Griffin plays the exiled Vista and sacks it to grab out a snow-covered swamp, with Hidden at his end step activating Shorakai, discarding a Mirror of Fate. Hidden takes three from his crypt and has a Manamo as land for turn, passing once again. Mike untaps and cracks his fetch. He triggers Ob to exile a Mana Crypt, with Mike getting his own Tundra. He has a tapped Shatter Skull the Hammer Pass and heads Malcolm once again at Noah. Mike makes a treasure with Noah at his end step, abrupt decaying the Dothy. Who doesn't have anything worthwhile to recast, as the creature is taken out. Noah untaps and in response to the fish, cracks his Ranger Captain. Griffin has the first crack at it as he activates Mount Doom to ping the table and exile a Burning Inquiry off the top. Next up is Hidden, who knows that Noah needs to be stopped, as he casts a long-term plans. He takes one off this to trigger Ob, and gives Noah a card off the fish. Griffin exiles a Disciple of the Vault, with Hidden finding a card to put three deep. Next up, he activates Shorakai, drawing two and discarding a land, with Hidden then activating Manamo to try and untap his commander with Noah in response casting a Chain of Vapor on Shorakai. But it's Mike to the rescue, as he swan songs the bounce. Mike then pays the 4, with Noah getting a bird. Shorakai is then untapped, with Hidden using his Floating Colorless to activate Shorakai, this time discarding a Jeweled Lotus. Hidden then fires off a Silence. Noah draws, and then fires off a Force of Will, exiling a Windfall. I hate all of this burning before Griffin's turn. But Hidden does have one more thing to do, as he taps his city to cast a Fluster Storm. Ob exiles a land, but the Fluster counters the force, and the silence resolves. With the worst part being Noah still has enough mana to pay for the fish, as he heads to his first main. He plays a City of Brass and passes his turn there. Griffin plays out his Exiled Exotic Orchard, and then casts his Exiled Disciple of the Vault. A Mana Crypt then comes out, with Noah drawing off the artifact. But Griffin says it's the only one he'll get, as he casts his Exiled Burning Inquiry, and pays for the fish. Everyone draws, and then discards three at random. Next up is combat, as Griffin sends an 11-11 ob at Mike, who takes the hit. Hidden then heads to his turn, and pays to untap his vault, and is safe from his crypt. He has a windswept heath as land, and cracks the fetch. Ob exiles a lotus petal, while Hidden shocks in a hollowed fountain. With Hidden then for two, casting a counterbalance. Noah draws, but the enchantment resolves. Mike untaps, and doesn't think he'll last long against Ob, as he plays and cracks an arid mesa. Ob exiles a Tainted Pact, with Mike grabbing out a Plateau. Mike then taps 3 for a Jeska's Will. 
He lets Noah draw and targets him for 8 red and to exile the top 3. He hits an Underworld Breach, a Stifle, and a Lotus Petal. Mike then casts the Breach. Noah draws but passes priority as Hidden activates his counterbalance to reveal a Felhor Stone, countering the Breach. Mike then follows that up with his other commander, Bruce, who on ETB gives Ragavan Double Strike and Lifelink. Mike then sends the Monkey and Malcolm at Noah, who can't block. He exiles the top two cards of his library, and Mike makes three treasures. With Noah's top two being a Vamp Tutor and a Thassa's Oracle. Mike then on his second main casts the Exiled Vamp Tutor. He does have to crack a treasure to do so, which triggers the Disciple. To ping the table and trigger ob. Mike then finds a card to put on top and hands the turn over. Noah untaps and lets his fish go. He makes two white off the carpet and plays a savannah as land. He then casts his commander Kenrith, following all that up with the training grounds. But Mike doesn't like the look of it as he takes two to mental misstep it. With Griffin at his end step mount dooming everyone. Griffin then plays out an exiled mountain and is safe from his crypt. He then chalice checks as he casts an arcane signet for it to get countered by the counterbalance. Griffin then casts an exiled lotus petal with him then heading to combat. He sends Ob at Mike and while the table thought he must have an answer, unfortunately Mike misread his surge of salvation and dies to Ob. With Hidden at his end step, activating Shorakai to draw and discard a Felwar Stone. Hidden takes three from his crypt and has an Ancient Tomb as land for turn. He then for four casts the One Ring to hopefully be able to fog Ob for at least another turn. He then taps the ring to draw but passes after that. Noah untaps and makes two black mana off his carpet. He has an untapped Steam Vents and then cast a Demonic Tutor. Hidden will counterbalance, but reveals a Mr. Grimora off the trigger. Noah then goes searching and casts a Dockside Extortionist. Hidden realizes he messed up, as in response, he casts an Enlightened Tutor. Hidden will find a Blind Obedience to put on top, which will let Hidden then use his counterbalance to stop the Goblin for now. But Noah then taps a mana and exiles an Elvish Spirit Guide to try and reanimate Dockside with Kenrith. He'll take one off his City of Brass, which triggers Ob to exile an Opposition Agent. Hidden then in response to the reanimate, activates Minamo to untap his One Ring, and this time draw two off the activation. Hidden then casts his Swords on Kenrith, with the Goblin resolving, and getting eight treasures off the ETB, after Griffin sacrifices his Lotus Petal. This will trigger the Disciple, with Ob then exiling a Snuff Out from the top. Noah then follows this up with an Underworld Breach. He sacrifices a treasure to do so as the table gets pinged and Griffin exiles a Bloodstained Mire off the top. Hidden then reveals a City of Traitors off the Counterbalance and in response, responds with an offer you can't refuse. Taking one off his land with Griffin exiling a Cloudstone Curio off the top. Noah sees the writing on the wall, but can't stop now, as he casts a Phantasmal Image. Two treasures means two pings, as the Fimage enters as a Dockside. He makes eight more treasures, and sacrifices seven of them, to recast Kenrith. The table will lose seven, with more cards getting exiled. Five more treasures means five more drains, and ob triggers. Noah then tries to reanimate the Spellseeker, but in response, Griffin casts Exiled Snuff Out to kill Kenrith. And even worse, Noah was so rattled by all this interaction, he forgot about Griffin's Exiled Oppo. With that, the table actually just scoop it up to Griffin, as Griffin goes infinite on his turn, and with all the Exiled cards, has interaction for days, giving Griffin his first win on the channel. Game review. Damn, I can't believe he got there. I thought for sure with my one ring I was going to be able to untap and start taking over the game. But we ended up leaving Ob alone for way too long, and we didn't realize how much damage that disciple was going to put out.
but congrats to Griffin for winning the game. Thanks to everyone that joined for the game, and before everyone leaves, I want to thank our special Patreon members, Sly Fox, Tango Down, and Holy Septic for the support of the channel, along with all of our other Patreon supporters as well. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.